League specifications of the OnePlus 7T point to a phone that won't bring much of a wow factor. Today was iPhone day, and uh, while well, it seems that pre-orders weren't as hectic as usually happens with Apple, and we have a Microsoft event planned for October 2nd, and apparently we should expect something major. I'm Jaime Rivera, iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro are pre-order, along with Apple Watch Series 5. You know what that means, it means it's Friday and I'm broke. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals because there are a ton and none of these have to do with Apple products unless you get like Series 4 from Apple, which is dying. And I actually do recommend it. So if you find it, that's great. But the uh, thing about it is that's not the only thing. Let's talk about non-Apple stuff, starting with the Lenovo 10-inch smart display, which is currently $100 off at b and It typically goes for $250 everywhere, but you can get it for $150 in white and bamboo. And uh, that smart display is actually a good deal. It's a very very interesting product that I do recommend. You can learn more in the description. And yes, today was iPhone day. I was expecting to write up the fact that pre-orders were terrible, that the Apple store was down and everything, but this has got to be the best pre-order in history, which could mean either one of two things. Either, well, Apple figured out that we needed a better time for the pre-order, so it started off well there. But the second part is that you could still get the space gray iPhone 11 Pro in any denomination, pretty much all the way to three hours after the pre-order time. And then things started bumping up to October 7th and everything. So either Apple is doing a lot about inventory and they're gonna meet that demand, or it's just the fact that people didn't go crazy because we also ordered the iPhone 11 for review and we noticed that uh, it was pretty much available for hours. Uh, pick up on September 20th. So if you still want to order yours, you might get lucky depending on either the storage or the color that you pick. Uh, let us know what you ordered in the comments down below. Now let's move on over to Microsoft as, uh, well, we know that there's an October 2nd event and we're expecting Surface products to be announced, but uh, well, we've got more information on live stream and everything. And the rumor mill has it that we should see Project Centaurus, which is a dual display 8 to 12 inch PC, which could run Windows Lite, which is a direct competitor to iPad OS and Chromebooks. And this is something that Microsoft has been needing to work on. I mean, netbooks were terrible and they owned that market for a bit and then iPads and Chromebooks just completely annihilated it. Uh, Steve Jobs had a point there that netbooks were not better at anything and he proved it. So the point being is let's see exactly what we get at this event. We will obviously be covering it. Now let's move the spotlight over to the Vivo Next. Well, the next generation, because uh, we've seen a couple of rumors and leaks over what to expect. We've seen a teaser, and we also know that certain people have already tried it out, and uh, now we get more details. A company executive claims that the screen-to-body ratio of this Vivo Next 3 5G is, uh, according to industry standards, going to be of 99.6%, and the leaks show that it is. Some alleged specifications also include a 64 megapixel camera in addition to 13 megapixels and another 13 megapixel camera and then 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The only problem is we don't really get this phone outside of China or certain other areas and markets. So we will keep you posted as soon as uh, we learn more. As uh, The good thing is we know that this Vivo Next was the device that pretty much spurred a ton of other devices from either Oppo and OnePlus. So uh, we'll see. Now, you know that the Galaxy Fold launched recently in Korea to a certain degree, it was limited amounts and everything, but apparently uh, there are other people that are taking more advantage of the Fold than even Samsung. Apparently resellers in Hong Kong got a bunch of phones from the launch in Korea and are selling it for as much as $4,855, with some people willing to pay up to $5,000 for the device to be an early adopter. It will officially roll out on September 18th, but for now, the man seems good for Samsung. Uh, so yeah, uh, $5,000 for the Galaxy Fold. I've used the Galaxy Fold. Would I pay $5,000 for it? No. I'm not saying it's a bad product. I'm just saying it's not worth $5,000. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the OnePlus 7T. Notice, T. We're not talking about the 7T Pro, which we assume to be another device. And now that we've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I mean, we can forgive any company for coming up with ridiculous names for their products. And uh, as it turns out, uh, let's talk about the 7T because we might not be going crazy for that model in particular. So apparently design changes might not be major. And then as for specifications, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus 
Android 10 and a slightly larger 4,085 milliamp hour battery, which is a slight bump from the 4,000 that we had. This uh, slight battery increase might be able to help the device perform better with its uh, also rumored 90 hertz display. Now, whatever the case may be, let us know in the comments down below. I mean, are you enticed for the 7T or are you waiting for the rumors of the 7T Pro? Because in my case, I love the 7 Pro. I can't wait for that 7T Pro if that's going to be the case, but we'll keep you posted. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know what you think. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see what I'm doing with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. Expect some content this weekend.